Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing my bullet journal setup for 2024 using a combination of a digital planner and a paper planner. So this year I'll be using my Onyx Books Nova Air 2 e-ink tablet as my digital planner along with the Starbucks 2024 campus planner for the monthly and weekly layouts. Also, I'll give you a sneak peek at how I use this system to plan for January. I've always loved using paper planners. Over the years, I've used many different types of planners and notebooks. So just to give you an idea, these are the notebooks that I've used in the past years. But even as my specific planners and notebooks change each year, I stick with the bullet journal method from Ryder Carroll as my foundation. I love the flexibility of bullet journaling and the ability to customize it to my needs. The core system of daily logs, collections, etc. works well for my planning style. The specific planner that I use may vary yearly, but the bullet journal framework provides stability. That said, I would describe my bullet journal as a modified system. Rather than using a future log, I prefer having a pre-drawn monthly and weekly calendar. I also like having a printed early timeline on my daily pages. So this saves me time from having to draw out the exact layouts that I want and need each week. Also, the pre-formatted calendars give me structure while still allowing flexibility in my daily logs. So in summary, I stick to the bullet journal methodology overall, but adapt it by using planners with pre-made monthly and weekly spreads. This blended planning approach works best for my needs. So why am I using a combined digital and paper planner this year? I found it useful to go more digital for my daily logs and collections so I could quickly migrate tasks and search content and more organization for my collections and lists. But I still like having a paper planner for the monthly and weekly layouts for planning and to get the big picture overview. One benefit I get from using a paper planner for my monthly and weekly calendars is how easy it is to flip between the spreads. Having the monthly and weekly views physically next to each other makes it simple to visually coordinate my schedule. When I'm writing in my daily logs, I can quickly refer back to the monthly or weekly layouts to keep things aligned. The paper format allows me to see everything at a glance in a way that digital cannot always replicate. Being able to physically flip through the connected calendar pages helps my planning process. As I mentioned earlier, I'll be using my Onyx Books Nova Air 2 e-ink tablet for my daily pages and collections and lists in my bullet journal system. The free digital planner template I downloaded has a great layout for the daily pages. I'll put the link of the digital planner in the description below in case you're interested. On the left side of the daily page, there is a timeline section where I can schedule out my day R by R. I like plotting out my days visually with a timeline view. Then on the right side, there is a space for the day's to-do list and a space for notes and rapid log logging. I've started using this Onyx Books in 2023. Unlike a regular backlit tablet, I like that this uses e-ink technology so it doesn't strain my eyes. It is also lightweight and portable with a 7.8 inch screen. Of course, this tablet cannot replicate 
perfectly the feel of writing on paper. It adds great benefits like handwriting using a pen, exporting and syncing notes to your mobile and other devices for easy access, easy organization features for collections and keyword search. The lack of glare and paper-like feel make it much nicer to write, to write on than a traditional tablet. This planner was gifted to me by my sister-in-law. She got it in Starbucks, Japan. Since this planner may be hard to get, you could use something similar like the Muji Weekly Planner or other planners with monthly calendars and horizontal weekly layouts. Now, for the paper component, I'm using the Starbucks 2024 Campus Planner. One thing I really like about the weekly layout in the Starbucks Paper Planner is that it has two page spreads. The left page of each weekly spread is where I'll put events, appointments, or tasks that need to be done on a specific day and time. This allows me to visually map out my schedule in detail for the week. Meanwhile, the right page is perfect for listing my running to-do list and habit trackers that I want to check off sometime throughout the week. By having separate pages, I can clearly distinguish time-specific spe events versus general tasks to accomplish each week. The monthly calendars also have a nice spacious layout for an overview. I may add some cute stickers and washi tape if I have extra time to decorate, but functional planning is definitely my priority for my bullet journal as I already have other journals for creativity. For this planner, I want to focus on having an efficient system for scheduling and task management, so I'll try to minimize time spent decorating. So in summary, I'll be using the digital planner on my e-ink tablet for daily logs, collections, and lists, and the paper planner for the monthly and weekly layouts focused on functional planning. This blended system takes the best aspects of bullet journaling and traditional planning to suit my needs. Now, I'll take you along as I do my planning for January. I'll show you how I fill up my monthly, weekly, and daily spreads. On the monthly calendar, I use the leftmost column to write down the things I'd like to do over the course of the month. This helps me get a high-level view of what I aim to focus on. Then, I'll start by putting down my big rocks. These are key events I already know about like birthdays, anniversaries, and holidays. I'll also note any big deadlines or appointments. Then, if I have time, I may add some decorative elements, but the focus 
is on function. To make key dates stand out, I like using a red pen to mark important deadlines like bills due dates. And I'll highlight social events in purple, like parties or meet up with friends. This color coding helps my eye catch important activities. Additionally, I use the monthly calendar as a place to jot down notable events or memories from the month. For example, in my December spread, I log social gatherings, milestone moments, and more. Recording these snippets help me remember what happened during the month at a glance. When it comes to the weekly layouts, I'll write down on the left page of each weekly spread the events, appointments, or tasks that need to be done on a specific day and time. Having the blank space on the right page allows flexibility for writing down non-date specific tasks, running to-do lists, and habit trackers. I appreciate how easy it is to flip between the monthly and weekly spreads to visually coordinate my schedule. Now, let's proceed to my daily planning routine. I start each morning by opening up my Starbucks paper planner to review my schedule for the week. I'll flip to the current week spread and check the left page for any events, appointments, or time-specific tasks written down that day. Then, I'll take those scheduled items and transfer them over to the daily page in my digital planner template on the Onyx Books tablet. This quick transfer from the Starbucks weekly layout to the Onyx Books daily page helps me co consolidate my schedule and pass into one place. Then, I'll continue my writing by writing down my top two to three priorities for the day. Limiting myself to just a few key tasks helps me to stay focused on what matters most. Under my top priorities, I list out any other to-dos and notes for the day. On the left side of the daily spread is a timeline section where I map out my day R by R. I really like visually scheduling out my day this way. I'll block off time periods for meetings, work blocks, appointments, errands, rest, and personal time. Plotting my daily schedule on a timeline helps me plan ahead to make the most of my time. It also helps ensure I have a good balance of work and personal activities. Then throughout the course of the day, I simply rapid log my tasks, events, and notes as they occur. Thank you.
the end of the day, I sort through my entries to find which notes need to be migrated to the next day, to my calendar, for future reference, or removed because I realize I don't need to do it. The lasso tool of this tablet makes it easy to migrate items to another day by copy-pasting without having to rewrite tasks. So in summary, by starting my day looking at the paper planner, I make sure I don't miss anything important time for, this, for that specific day. Then marrying it with my digital daily page keeps everything in one easy spot to reference throughout the day on the go. So it's a simple routine but using both the paper weekly and digital daily views really maximizes my organization and productivity. Next, I'll show you how I use my Onyx Books tablet for bullet journal collections and lists. The notes feature is perfect for creating pages such as goals list, learning notes, travel research, YouTube video ideas, and more. The tablet makes it easy to organize these pages in two different folders so everything stays tidy. I can find pages quickly either by browsing the folder structure or by using the built-in search function to look up keywords. For example, I have a folder for goals, learning notes, work notes, travel, and for my YouTube and social media. The ability to search and instantly access my bullet journal collection and list on this tablet and other devices is so handy. And that's a look at my 2024 bullet journal setup using a digital paper combo. Let me know in the comment section, do you use any kind of digital planning in your bullet journal or do you prefer good old pen and paper? I'd love to hear your thoughts and setups. I hope this gave you some ideas if you're looking to mix digital and analog planning. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.